Hi, this is Dawn and getting comfy with cannabis. And I am here with Natalie. And Natalie, I have some questions for you about sure. cannabis. I was told when I'm a medical patient, I was told when voting for the law that my prices would not change. My prices <laughs> changed. Well, my prices almost doubled. I went from I five to four. I went yeah, it's five dollars a gram. Now I'm going to be paying nine dollars a gram. That's pretty two, much double. Two dollars. I think for medical patients, it's going to be about two dollars more. Oh, they said four when I called. Oh, so yeah? you should inform your staff. Yeah. Because that be, really pissed me off. <laughs> I bet. Yes. Yeah. It's just to make it comfortable, make it easy, you know, to ring everybody out. Yeah. So, um,. I have a question. Tomorrow, today we only get so many grams. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow the price goes up. What happen? Our grams go away also. It'll be the same for medical patients. It's only recreational. They're only allowed to get an ounce. So if I go in and don't give my medical card, mm -hmm. I could get another ounce. Yes. Because what is going to happen when recreational comes in to your dispensary? Well, basically the taxation is different. Right, but recreational. Right, but what's going to happen? The person's going to walk in. Do they have to fill anything out? They just show their license yes. to prove they're 21. Over 21, yes. And then you let them walk in. Mm -hmm. And they are allowed to purchase us, you know, whatever they like. Now Edibles, that's pretty power. dope. Yes. But I get it. But and, you're going to be paying a price. And that's you know, smoking. <laughs> I believe there's going to be a batch for medical patients and a batch for recreational. So you should, you won't be missing out. So we get better weed. Mm, oh, say. Not as, as better weed, but the, you know, the, our batches, like how much we get. So we make sure we don't run out for our medical oh, patients. Oh, that's what you mean. So yes. they can get the same strands uh -huh. as and far as I with know. the same percentages yes. and stuff that as we can get. As far as I know right now, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Just we'll, we'll make sure to have enough for our medical patients. Like there's going to be a batch and that is going to be That's for medical. just sold batch for us. for recreational. Yes, exactly. Right. Yes. Well, thanks for making us feel, feel special that way. Right? <laughs> we're taking the care price of, we're still trying to take care of our, everyone that has a medical card. For sure, we're trying to take care of them. Okay, so 20% of your cannabis is from in-state. 20% of all sales come from in-state. Mm -hmm. um, the rest comes from out-of-state. How much do you think those percentages will change within the next 60 days? Ooh. Well, they're anticipating for at least 50%. <laughs> they, they're anticipating a lot of recreational people to come in and purchase. Uh -huh. However, I... There's no way of tracking no, it mm -mm, because no. you're not taking any We won't identification. be taking it from your allowance. Like, you know, like right. recreational, they might be able to go to one dispensary and another dispensary. Oh, they that could is, go in the front door and out the back and yeah. in the front again. And then to a different dispensary, yeah. We'll so keep you, track for that person. We'll keep track of what they But you they just purchased. said you weren't going to well, take their name or anything. We won't allow them to purchase more than one announce. Right. So yeah. one ounce purchase at one time at the cash at register. Location. Yes. Just like buying panties. You know. When they're on sale, you want <laughs> to go around and yes. go get it again. You have your friends come in and buy <laughs> one for you that don't <laughs> smoke now. Yeah. How much do you think that's going to happen? Uh, you know, that's I, I'm the optimistic one that I don't think it's going to be that busy. Everyone else I don't is think out. it's going to be very busy either. I don't think so. Because I don't know too many people that are going to spend almost 70 bucks that an is, eight. That's the point, yeah. And well, no, then our, they have nowhere to smoke it. Yeah, our eights will be about no more than 30. Mm -mm. I don't oh, the eights will be canopy. about 30. Canopy will still be the cheapest, the lowest price um, flower that you can get. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so one of the biggest questions I have, because I buy a lot of canopy weed, okay. um, is why is it a year from harvest to purchase? From my understanding, at least me, is we opened in December. So our growth and everything was going on before we even opened our dispensaries. Oh, That's and the dates, the date. Yeah, yeah you so have to. The, They're very precise everything. about dates and mm -hmm. when things. Yeah, that has to be on point for sure. So, for the medical 
people that are not happy at all with the price increase. Um, we, I was just told inside they're going to reevaluate it in 60 days. So, I mean, my brain goes to my flower child person and says, all medical people do not buy from dispensaries for the next 60 days. Take a stand and show them we don't want our prices raised. But then the crappy edge sword to that is, why do you want to hurt the dispensaries that are helping us? Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And that really sucks. So what could we do? Do you have any other suggestions for us on what we could do to make our prices back to where they were? Ooh. Honestly, no. Just research, you know, know where you want to what you want to spend and the type of Look that for you sales. Want. Yeah. Give them Look your for number. Sales, for deals. We always have deals going on. For, you do? There I, are going to be different <clears throat> deals for our patient. Um, medical? Medical patients. So will that, is totally different. will that be different when you sign up? Will you sign up for your text as a medical patient and then as a recreational? What do you mean? I don't know. Like I sign up for your text, I get mm -hmm. your text. Oh, yeah, yeah. So will, will I get medical texts and not recreational ones? I believe there will be a difference. If not, not totally sure. that's a great idea Everything and so you new. should do it. Yes. Yes. Hire me as a consultant. Because <laughs> yes. you guys really, the government screwed you. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, we try to make it as fair. Yeah. As far as well, I, know, I think you're doing a great so job. Yeah. I really think you're doing a great job because you guys are under a lot of regulations yeah. and stipulations. Seriously. And like, that's what I think a lot of people out that want to get comfy with cannabis don't understand yeah. all the rules and regulations you're under and how exactly. strict how it strict is. How strict it is. Yeah. It's very, very strict. strict. <laughs> These cameras go directly into the um, Vegas police. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so thank you very much for getting comfy with cannabis. Comfy as a canopy. Yeah, that's right. They have yes. three locations, one downtown, one on Lake Mead, and one on Blue Diamond. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, hon. I appreciate it.